European Union leaders are considering a plan to resolve the continent's migrant shipwreck crisis by taking military action to destroy smugglers' boats in Africa so they can not be used to ferry refugees on a perilous journey across the Mediterranean to the southern shores of Europe. The heads of state of the 28 EU countries met in Brussels Thursday in the aftermath of last weekend's Mediterranean disaster in which about 800 or more people drowned, with only 28 rescued when a migrant boat headed from Libya to Italy capsized after its captain mistakenly rammed a Portuguese container ship on its way to rescue it. A draft EU statement called for an increase in funding for Europe's search and rescue operations, but also systematic efforts to capture and destroy vessels before they are used by traffickers. The EU's top migration official, Dimitris Avramopoulos, said, We will take action now. Europe is declaring war on smugglers. He was in Malta to attend the funeral of 24 people whose bodies were recovered off the coast of Libya in the middle of the night tragedy last weekend. As he arrived for the summit, European Council President Donald Tusk of Poland said, Saving the lives of innocent people is, of course, the number one priority for us, but saving lives is not only about rescuing people at sea, it is also about fighting smugglers and preventing illegal migration flows. First we need to crack down on the human smugglers. We have to break up their networks and to undermine their business model. While considering possible military action, the EU proposal called for creation of 5,000 resettlement places for refugees who make it to European shores, a tiny fraction of the number who are annually attempting to escape poverty and war in the Mideast, Asia and Africa for a more stable life in Europe. Britain, Germany, Belgium and Ireland all said they would contribute ships to any new EU operations in the Mediterranean, although it was unclear exactly what role they might play. British Prime Minister David Cameron said his country's involvement would not include accepting more refugees. The EU proposal was at sharp odds with a call by United Nations refugee, human rights and migration officials to adopt a plan focused on the migrants' rights and dignity. The UN officials said the EU should have a clear mission to save lives and a firm commitment to take in significantly higher numbers of refugees. About 150,000 migrants reached Italy last year and Rome said Wednesday that 5,000 could reach its shores each week over the next five months as many as 200,000 by the end of the year. But the death toll from the migrant crossings has reached about 1,800 this year compared to 100 at the same point in 2014. Since the end of an EU migrant rescue program last year, Italy has shouldered most of the burden of rescuing migrants in distress at sea because it is the closest European entry point across the Mediterranean from Libya. But with the number of migrant deaths increasing, experts predict it will keep going up unless either rescue efforts are increased or the flow of migrants is severely curbed. On Wednesday, the rights group Amnesty International called on European leaders to end the spiraling tragedy of the migrant shipwrecks. In a report, Amnesty urged EU leaders to immediately authorize a humanitarian operation with more and more ships, aircraft, and other resources to patrol the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, European authorities continue to investigate how the migrant boat capsized on Sunday. Italian prosecutors say the ship's Tunisian captain, who has been arrested, mistakenly steered his boat into the Portuguese merchant ship. European officials have voiced their sympathy at the loss of lives in the latest migrant capsize disaster. But some have said the answer to the crisis is not a more accommodating immigration policy, but better armed patrols to keep migrant boats from leaving Africa for the Mediterranean crossing to Europe.